stopped and run, making a Hollywood Park. He just did. He's the winner. And it's no one getting up, winning it. And they're off. Bob running. Pops is going up. Pops is running away. Pops is going 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 away. Glad you could join us for Friday night racing at Betfair, Hollywood Park. Beautiful summer-like weather on the Friday night card. A little stakes race is the fourth. They're reminiscing a $70,000 stake for fillies and mares at seven and one half for longs. Pick six on races three through eight. Let's get right to the action of the Friday night opener. California bred fillies and mares kicked off the Friday night card. An allowance race at six and one half for longs. Number three, River Kiss from the Doug O'Neill Barn. The odds on choice at four to five. Vic Stauffer with the Friday night opener. Last to load, Warren's Internet. They're at the post. They're up. River Kiss broke beautifully and goes right out to the front. You can dream away in second. Warren's Internet a close third. Pleasing Sunrise comes away running in fourth, and the early trailer is Rag and Wood. It's River Kiss and Daniel Vergara up the back stretch, a length and a quarter in front of You Can Dream and Warren's Internet, second and third, and now about two from the lead. Rag and Wood's on the move for Saul Arias up into fourth now and about three and a half off the lead. Pleasing Sunrise is fifth and last, but only three and a half from the front running favorite, River Kiss. River Kiss leaves the back stretch. A length and a quarter in front of You Can Dream in second. Now it's two and a half lengths to Warren's Internet, who's pretty much all in three furlongs from the wire. Warren's Internet going to have to re-rally. Rag and Wood and Pleasing Sunrise are next. Pleasing Sunrise is going to go from fifth to third, but she's five lengths behind River Kiss, who's in charge at the top of the stretch. River Kiss leads by two lengths from You Can Dream in second. Warren's Internet is third. Then comes Pleasing Sunrise, and River Kiss is gone. She's opened up a seven-length lead. You Can Dream trying to hold off Warren's Internet for second, but it's River Kiss to dominate to the wire. River Kiss all alone. River Kiss won by ten lengths. You Can Dream held off Warren's Internet for second. Raganwood finished fourth. Good handling by jockey Daniel Vergara. River Kiss, the favorite, kicks home in the opener. Daughter of Awesome Gambler, trained by Doug O'Neill, three dollars and eighty cents. You Can Dream held second over Warren's Internet. Final time for the opener: one sixteen and two. Race number two: six furlongs on a turf, fillies and mares for a forty thousand dollar claiming price. Number one: Miss Redditory, the favorite, at eight to five. Melissa Rose, solid second choice at two to one. Five went six in race two. They're off. All on the table and Miss Redditory break one, two. Nice matal away in third. Then comes to the outside in Blue Samurai. Melissa Rose splits horses and there goes Melissa Rose all the way up. She broke fourth and now she's all the way up to challenge for the lead. So all on the table and Melissa Rose will now sprint away and they've opened up four lengths on the other three. Who are Blue Samurai three deep. Nice matal between horses and Miss Redditory at the rail. Into the far turn, all on the table, and Melissa Rose will match strides all on the table, half ahead in front. Melissa Rose is second now, just by a length and a half, as Miss Redditori moves at the rail. Nice Madel is between horses, and Blue Samurai going to be four wide all the way around the far turn, all on the table, narrowly in front. Quarter mile marker, all on the table. Now a half length in front of Melissa Rose, who could still do it. Then comes Miss Redditori at the rail. Nice Madel is two from all on the table, who continues to lead. Melissa Rose has every chance. Miss Redditori fires through from the inside. All on the table's got him attacking from both sides. And here's Miss Redditori to try to get by. All on the table, Miss Redditori. All on the table, Miss Redditori. All on the table. Wow, what a nice win for all on the table. She just said, you will not pass. Miss Redditori second, Melissa Rose third. Photo finish in race two, and the nod goes to the longest shot in the field, all on the table. A daughter of Holy Bull, trained by Leonard Powell, ridden for the first time by Martin Garcia. Strong handling, $18.80. Miss Redditori was second, Melissa Rose finished third. That early double, $36 even. Final time, 110 and 2. We'll take a break, come back with a pick six. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. 
World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Pet Fair Hollywood Park. Friday night's third race at five and a half furlongs maiden claimers for a claiming price of $20,000. Number four, JVM Boy was fractious in the paddock, got a little stirred up at the gate and had to be scratched. Scratch the four, JVM Boy. The favorite, number eight, Ease Gold with Charlene Hunt up at seven to five. They're at the post. They're up. Sacred Ghost broke very slowly. Storm and Busby broke very fast and goes for the front from Mahogany Ridge and it's time to go. To the outside, Ease Gold, Black Magic Man between horses and Chapito on the move in a tight spot at the rail. Sacred Ghost is the trailer. Storm and Bubsy with company up front now. Storm and Bubsy only leads by a neck. From Mahogany Ridge, a four wide Ease Gold and it's time to go at the rail. Then it's two lengths to Chapito, fifth and about four from the front. Black Magic Man now has six lengths to make up. Sacred Ghost is ten lengths behind. Storm and Bubsy and Ease Gold. Storm and Bubsy only ahead in front of Charlene Hunt and Ease Gold right alongside in second. Mahogany Ridge is very hard ridden. Third and two and a half off the lead. It's time to go and Chapito have five lengths to make up. Final furlong and Ease Gold has taken over the lead. It is Ease Gold now a length in front. From Storm and Bubsy, Mahogany Ridge still has a chance as he grinds on. Ease Gold a half length. Mahogany Ridge trying to get him on the money. Ease Gold, Mahogany Ridge in time. Two wins, Doug O'Neill of Mahogany Ridge ran down East Gold, beat him a half length. Storm and Bubsy third, Chapito fourth. First time starter, Mahogany Ridge wears down the favorite Ease Gold and scores for owner trainer Doug O'Neill. Son of Decarci gives Doug O'Neill his second win on the Friday night card. Kevin Krigger aboard. The winner returns $6.80. Second Ease Gold, third Storm and Bubsy. That trifecta 1820, there was a claim in the winner, Mahogany Ridge to Peter Miller for $20,000. Final time, 105 flat. On to race number four at seven and one half furlongs, the Friday night feature race, the first running of the reminiscing. $70,000 purse, a field of five fillies and mares. The post time choice, number four, American Lady at four to five. Vic Stoffer with the call of the reminiscing stakes. They're at the post. They're off. Pink lollipops and top debutante are showing speed. Suzette's friend, Spectacular Sky in the center, and there goes Spectacular Sky, who will set the pace. American Lady is now midfield. So Spectacular Sky can pick her path, leaving the back stretch, leaving the chute and up the back stretch. Spectacular Sky is two lengths in front. American Lady is second by a half length to top debutante, three from the lead. Suzette's friend races fourth in the black and white with four lengths to make up and pink lollipops now single file the five of them as they run up the back stretch. Spectacular Sky past the half mile pole in the first reminiscing. She's a length in front of American Lady in second. Top debutante races still third and two from the front. It's another length to Suzette's friend and then a length and a half last. Pink lollipops, they leave the back stretch and Spectacular Sky and American Lady are now getting away. Spectacular Sky is a neck in front of American Lady. They've opened up four lengths on top debutante. Pink lollipops all in at the quarter pole and seven off the lead. Suzette's friend, the trailer, and American Lady is outside of Spectacular Sky, and the new leader is American Lady. She is now a length in front of Spectacular Sky. Top debutante rallies at the rail, about to get into second maybe, but American Lady is now two in front. Make it three in front in the reminiscing. Top debutante just got second, Spectacular Sky and Pink Lollipops, American Lady. American Lady won a length and a half. Top debutante second, Spectacular Sky third, Pink Lollipops finish fourth. The favorite American Lady rolls to victory in the reminiscing. Ridden by Rafael Bejarano for owner Kaleem Shaw, trained by Bob Baffert. That's Baffert's 85th stakes win at Hollywood Park. That moves into fifth on the all-time list, one ahead of D. Wayne Lucas. Final time, 1.30 and 2. We'll take a timeout, come back with the late pick four. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. 
World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Pet Fair Hollywood Park. Friday night's fifth race at one mile on the turf. Three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races, a claiming price of $25,000. Number three, Quail Hill, has been second at this condition in his last two starts. He's the even money choice. Got a field of nine, mile on a firm turf course in race number five. They're off. All the victors, East Sky, Quail Hill, and Victoria's Sugar Daddy, these four are quickest. Then comes Super Candy, Southern Sculptor, and Warren's Wild Thing. Bo Maverick second to last, and the early trailer is KJ's Mad Dog. East Sky trying to get away from Quail Hill, and East Sky will. Joyce Scott and East Sky now sprint away up front, three lengths in front. Quail Hill is second by about five lengths to Victoria's Sugar Daddy, third and eight from the front, and on the front end, East Sky is now five to the good. Aldi Victors is fourth and about 13 lengths behind as East Sky is really gapping this field out. Then comes Southern Sculptor and Super Candy. Two lengths to Warren's Wild Thing. Got to be about 17 from the front. Bo Maverick 18 and KJ's Mad Dog is 20 lengths behind East Sky who aggressively goes into the far turn. East Sky is far in front. The lead is about eight lengths to Quail Hill. It's another eight lengths to Victoria's Sugar Daddy. Victoria's Sugar Daddy is third and 16 lengths behind. Southern Sculptor, Aldi Victors, and Super Candy, all 18 from the front. Then comes Warren's Wild Thing, Bo Maverick, and KJ's Mad Dog, East Sky. Has less than a quarter of a mile to go, but that lead has been cut in half, and the only one coming after East Sky is Quail Hill. It's down to these two, East Sky. Three lengths in front. Quail Hill trying to gun him down on the money, and he's got a very good chance to do it. East Sky is gasping. Quail Hill is running, and Quail Hill going to run by and take over the lead. East Sky second. Quail Hill first. Quail Hill beat East Sky by three. Warren's Wild Thing third. Aldi Victors finish fourth. The favorite Quail Hill corrals the runoff leader, East Sky, in deep stretch to score. Owners Terrabilla Farms, David Hoffmans, and Alonzo Quinones at $4.20. East Sky finished second. Third was Warren's Wild Thing. That early pick four, $99.90. To pick five, $250.95. Final time, 136 and three. Race number six began the final pick three. $8,000 claimers at five furlongs, purse of $18,000. Number one, Lana Smile was a vet scratch at the gate. The rider change on the three, the whammer, make the rider a mere Cedeno. The favorite, number four, Classical Slew, off at odds of two to one. Vic Stoffer with the call of race six. They're up. Brereton Park and Classical Slew show the most speed. The whammer in Trumpet Player J, Dave's Pacemaker in Rain Gear, the trailer's Kuro. Classical Slew, the Whammer on the move at the rail. Classical Slew leads by a head. The Whammer has secured the rail, and now these two match strides. A length and a quarter in front of Brereton Park. Trumpet Player J and Dave's Pacemaker, fourth and fifth and four from the front. Rain Gear has nine lengths to make up, and Kuro's outside of him. New leader to the quarter pole, the Whammer. The Whammer is now three quarters of a length in front of Classical Slew in second. Brereton Park is three lengths behind in third. Dave's Pacemaker and Trumpet Player J and the Whammer settles into the stretch and builds up his lead. The Whammer is now three lengths in front. Dave's Pacemaker and Brereton Park are coming after the Whammer. The Whammer leads the 16th out. And Trumpet Player J is also closing. The Whammer, Dave's Pacemaker, Trumpet Player J, the Whammer, Dave's Pacemaker, the Whammer. The Whammer beat Dave's Pacemaker. Trumpet Player J was third, close for fourth, maybe Brereton Park. The Whammer claimed for $4,000 last time out at Golden Gate in an off-the-board performance. Doubles in claiming price and scores nicely a pick amount from Mira Cedeno. The Whammer really likes the surface here at Hollywood Park. Five lifetime wins, three of them here at Betfair Hollywood Park. $18 even, finishing second Dave's Pacemaker and third was Trumpet Player J. Liberato Baraccio, the winning owner and trainer. There was a claim number eight, Curl, claimed by Jeff Bondi for $8,000. Final time, 57 and three. We'll take a timeout, come back with a seventh.
Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Friday night's seventh race, first half of the late double and allowance race at a mile and one sixteenth on the turf with a purse of fifty-four thousand dollars. Number two, Vibrato Jazz, the post-time choice at two to one. Sean Washington, the second choice at five to two. Six went a mile and a sixteenth on the turf in race seven. They're up. They're up. Boompa and old time hockey, Vibrato Jazz at the rail. 7th Avenue, these four in the stride quickest. Sean Washington broke last and is in that position just outside of him, Press Barron. Old Time Hockey and Vibrato Jazz set a very slow pace early. Old Time Hockey now going to clear off and lead by a length as Vibrato Jazz is going to concede and sit second. Boompa's third and two lengths off the lead. Then comes Press Barron, fourth in and amongst horses, two and a half off the lead. Boompa three wide just outside of him. And 7th Avenue is 6th at the rail, now 5 lengths from 1st to last as Old Time Hockey picks up the pace a bit. Old Time Hockey up the back stretch, still traveling comfortably though, and he leads by 2 lengths now. Now Sean Washington going to go after him, Bayrano slints that slow pace, and so Sean Washington's on the move outside of Old Time Hockey, and these two quicken at the half mile marker. Boompa and Vibrato Jazz are third and fourth now and two and a half off the lead. Then comes Press Barron. He's got four to come. And now five lengths last to 7th Avenue as they leave the back stretch. And Old Time Hockey is back clearly in front. He's turned away Sean Washington who made that middle move. Old Time Hockey at the quarter pole a length and a half. Sean Washington may try him again. Meanwhile, Boompa's three wide. Vibrato Jazz saves all the ground. Press Barron in 7th Avenue. Final furlong they run. Old Time Hockey continues to lead. He's two in front. 7th Avenue has made up a ton of ground and he's charging in the center. Vibrato Jazz could also still do it, but Old Time Hockey is still clear and still strong. Vibrato Jazz second. Old Time Hockey. Old Time Hockey won by two. Vibrato Jazz was second. 7th Avenue third. Press Baron finished fourth. After the Kings beat the Devils in the opener of the Stanley Cup Finals, apropos that Old Time Hockey takes down the seventh at Hollywood Park. $8 on the win in. David Flores up for Owners Breeders Glen Hill Farm. Tom Proctor, the winning trainer. Vibrato Jazz was second. Seventh Avenue finished third. That trifecta, $80.90. Final time, 142 and one. Eighth and final brings down the curtain on the Friday night card at five and a half furlongs. Maidens three and up for a claiming price of $20,000. Five horse Iron Joe T beaten favor last time out. It's a second choice at three to one. Number eight, above par, first start of the year and first start in California. The favorite at six to five. Nine went five and a half in race number eight. They're at the post. They're off. Iron Joe T breaks well, so does Cat Can Scat, and from the inside, Dev Grew, and these three are fastest into stride, above par, away in fourth. Then comes Undaunted Rally and Minister of Trade, followed by, now Dev Grew is third last, and they run into the far turn with Clocker Moment, the trailer. So they run into the far turn, and that's Dev Grew on the lead alongside Dev Grew, it's Cat Can Scat, and these two will match strides now. Dev Grew inside, Cat Can Scat outside. Iron Joe T races in third and a closer third now. Then it's two lengths, two. Above par, who races outside of Minister of Trade, and they run to the top of the stretch, and the new leader is Iron Joe T. Iron Joe T has taken over the lead from Dev Grew in a second. Above par is third now, but still three and a half lengths behind the leader, Iron Joe T. Iron Joe T, final 16th. Two lengths now in front of Dev Grew in second. Above par to the outside and Minister of Trade, then Parker Moment, but Iron Joe T is clear, and he's got it. Iron Joe T in front. Iron Joe T beat above par by three and a half lengths. Dev Grew was third. Minister of Trade fourth and Clocker Moment finished fifth. Iron Joe T and Edwin Maldonado score convincingly in the eighth and final. Owned by Joe Turner, trained by Jeff Bondi. Iron Joe T, $8.60. The favorite above par up for second. 
third, the first time starter, Dev Grew. Pick three, 20870. Super high five, four hundred eighty-six dollars and forty cents. Late pick four, three thirty-nine thirty. In the pick six, eleven winning tickets, six thousand seven hundred and fifty-four dollars. Five out of six, one hundred five eighty. Place pick all, eight out of eight, one hundred and five dollars even. First post time Saturday at one o'clock. Scratches in the fifth take out the seven easy lead. Six race take out the seven tangled rock and a thirteen lady one eighty. Ninth and final take out the thirteen autumn view. That's a wrap for Friday Night Racing from Betfair Hollywood Park. Saturday's card, a good one. Nine races, first post at 1 o'clock. The feature, the Californian for older horses. That's the eighth race on the nine race program. Hope to see you out then. Until Saturday, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. See you back soon at Betfair Hollywood Park. <laughs>